morning today's topic is reported speech types of sentences general and smart rules to choose direct speech and indirect speech first thing since you are learning smart smart rules uh, not long without wasting time reported speech direct and indirect speech direct means सेम एज द स्पीकर स्पीकर ने जे बोले सेम एज द स्पीकर विदाउट चेंजिंग इन एनी वर्ड्स व्हाट एवर द स्पीकर सेज यू हैव टू राइट द सेम सेम एज द स्पीकर हियर रिपोर्टेड बाय रिपोर्टिंग रिपोर्टिंग बाय एन अदर पर्सन द स्पीकर पर्सन डिरेक्ट टू इनडिरेक्ट एंड इनडिरेक्ट टू डिरेक्ट Another is before starting reported speech, there are types of sentences. You have to know types of sentences. Generally, students make a mistake because some of the students don't know the types of sentences. You can classify sentences in two ways on the basis of structure on the basis of structure and on the basis of sense on the basis of structure three types simple simple sentence in nepali we call saral vakya It has only one verb and one aim. Simple, complex, complex sentence. For the students who are appearing in SLC, they should know. Nepali equivalent, Mr. Vakya. Joining by who, which, when, where, any subordinating clause. The complex sentence. One subordinate clause, another full sentence, another is compound sentence. Compound sentence. Sentence giving full meaning. A compound sentence has at least two independent sentences or clauses, and it may have more than two as well. Evda matre. M one M one verb complex sentences one incomplete another complete. ये उड़ा अपूर्ण और कुछ पूर्ण compound at least two independent sentences and another it may be uh, dependent. Generally compound sentence is formed by by using conjunction coordinating conjunction like and or but therefore etc. On the basis of sentence, there are five types. Number one, statement. Statement or assertive sentence. Subject verb object. There are two types: positive, affirmative, and negative. Another is imperative. Imperative sentence. Start from V one. It gives order, request, command, etc. Prohibition. So the order is there. There is imperative sentence. Another is interrogative. Interrogative sentence. Question about it. It asks question. There are two types. Yes, no, and yes, no, and W S. Yes, no question starts from starts with do, does, did, auxiliary verb. Any auxiliary verb. Whereas WS sentence or interrogative, a WS question starts from who, what, where, why, when, etc., whose, etc. Another is operative, operative sentence, which we will deal later on. Another is exclamatory. Statement. It gives statement, point of view, subject, verb, object. 
types affirmative and negative imperative it gives order like go there don't go there statement she is eating ran is going imperative go there don't smoke cigarettes etc any order please come here interrogative send question mark yes no question are you eating yes no question what what are you doing optative it gives it gives any wish chatter like may you be happy exclamatory it gives surprise joy happiness unhappiness etc hurra we have won them match alas his uncle has died any sentence statement or assertive imperative interrogative optative and exclamatory sentences five types of sentences on the basis of sense on the basis of structure how it is based simple sentence complex sentence and compound sentences three types on the basis of structure five types on the basis of sense on the basis of structure rachana ko aadhar ma on the basis of sense artha ko aadhar ma finally simple complex compound sense statement or assertive imperative interrogative optative and exclamatory before changing direct speech into indirect or indirect to direct students should know the types of sentences mainly as whether the sentence is assertive imperative interrogative optative or exclamatory Or speech has two parts. Three, two parts. One is reporting verb. Another is reported speech. Reporting verb R V is short form. Reported speech. R S short form. See, you have to join reporting verb and reported speech. But what sentences? What are the words to join? Here is joining them. First of all, if the sentence is assertive, assertive or statement, what you have to do? Reporting verb and reported speech should be joined with that. Remember. In Nepali, statement assertive by reporting verb and reported speech like that. Ne jaro use the word that to join reporting verb and reported speech. If the sentence is assertive, if the sentence is imperative, if the sentence is imperative, you have to use to by joining with to to ne jaro. Another, if the sentence is interrogative, if the sentence is interrogative, either you have to use if whether, if or whether, or yes no question, or yes no question, like starting from auxiliary verb, auxiliary verb, but through somebody, yes no question, like is, am, are, was, were, do, does, did, has, have, had, etc. Will, shall, may, might, must, or to, have to, etc. Use if or whether. Reporting verb. If, whether, plus reported speech. If the sentence is yes no. If the sentence is wh. Wh question or wh question. Reporting verb. And reported speech should be given as the same WS word. Whatever is there in WS word, like who, which, where, how, why, when, whose, you have to use the same WS word. Report.
रिपोर्टिंग भॉब र रिपोर्टेड स्पीच लाई डायरेक्ट स्पीच में जे दे गो सा जो डब्ले वर्ड सा ते यूज करने र सब्जेक्ट बार शुरू करने पड़े हियर इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच मींस जस्ट लाइक स्टेटमेंट आफ्टर दिस जनरल रूल और स्मार्ट रूल सम रूल्स देयर आर सम रूल्स से आइदर जनरल और स्मार्ट to say direct to indirect speech some rules are there first rule is change of person change of person person change if there is first person first person how to know first person i and you and i me my mine we us our ours etc you have to see the first person according to the subject see the subject what is the subject subject ke ho tyo heri first person i we you have to change according to the subject second person second person you you your your etc object if the sentence if you have to change the second person you you have to change it according to the object object ke sa tyo anusar change garnu subject third person here yeah, third person means the person about which About whom you are speaking? Just to buy, man, bully like this. Third person, he, she, it, they, merely, no change, no change. So, short form S O N, son formula. See, first, second, third. S O N, one, two, three. Smart learning. This is called smart learning. One, two, three. S O N. First person according to the subject. Second person according to the object. Third person no change. S O N. One, two, three. First person changes according to the subject. Second person according to the object. And third person you don't need to change. Change of person. Number one is change of. पर्सन पर्सन ला चेंज करने नंबर वन नंबर टू नंबर टू चेंज ऑफ चेंज सिंस यू आर लर्निंग स्मार्ट स्मार्ट रूल्स आई डोंट लाइक वेरी लॉन्ग सेंटेंसेस वी वन और वी फाइव इट चेंजेस टू वी टू वी इज B1 or B2, B1 or B5, present tense, past tense. If there is past tense, you have to use have, B3. Direct bar the indirect one under. B1 or B5, change into B2. If there is B2, change into have, B3, past perfect. To change indirect to direct, have, B3 changes to B2 or simple past or present perfect. And B two changes to B one or B five, but here direct to indirect. B one changes to B two, B two changes to B three. In the same way, is M R changes to was or were, was or were. Will or shall changes to could, has, have. Changes to had. In the same way, you can change other. Yeah. Do or does becomes did did or B two did or B two change of tense. You have to change the tense corresponding past tense. It is called change the corresponding past tense. Present like past tense, but only. Present continuous, past continuous. Simple present, simple past. Simple past, past perfect. 
प्रेजेंट कॉन्टिन्यूस पास्ट कॉन्टिन्यूस प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट पास्ट परफेक्ट प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस पास्ट परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस एंड सिंपल फ्यूजन उथ चेंज ऑफ पर्सन चेंज ऑफ टेंस चेंज ऑफ एडवर्ब्स एडवर्ब होता है चेंज हाउ सी नाउ चेंजेस टू देन टुडे दैट डे टुमारो the following day next week next week changes to the following week see somebody says i will come next week somebody says uh, i will come tomorrow is tomorrow really tomorrow no that tomorrow suppose the reporting it was reported one month ago suppose that tomorrow does not mean tomorrow or bholi or after one day it means tomorrow was already past so tomorrow changes the following day bholi parde so tomorrow means only for the speaker not for the reporter change of tense change of adverbs change of person and now then today that day tomorrow the following day next week the following week last night the night before the night before in the same way ago ago changes to before they are some of the rules this this changes to that this changes to those but note you have to note it for universal truth Number one, another first thing, special rule. When it is universal truth, or when reporting verb, reporting verb is in present or future tense. Reporting verb. Then, just then, बोले कुछ और क्यों थे? वही नहीं कि और को रिपोर्ट करने भाव से प्रेजेंट और फ्यूचर भाई में इफ द रिपोर्टिंग भाव इज इन प्रेजेंट टेंस और फ्यूचर टेंस डोंट चेंज चेंज एंड एड भाव डोंट चेंज चेंज सेम टेंस एंड टेंस रिमेंस द सेम एंड एड भावस रिमेन द सेम व्हेन The reporting verb is in the present tense or future tense. Any present tense, simple present, present continuous or present perfect. Future simple future tense or future perfect or future continuous tense. Any present tense or future tense, the tense of the reported speech does not change. Adverbs also remain the same, but you have to change the person. But change the person as son formula, S O N son formula. One two three, S O N one two three means first person subject, second person object, third person no change. S O N one two three, smart rule. Let me do some example. Some example of speech. Number one, assertive. Assertive or statement. 
कर रहे हैं वन एग्जाम्पल Example number three for universal truth, no change in tense. I said to them, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. 
I said to them, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. How to change? I. This is simple past tense. I said to told them. Actually, I have told them. I told them that the sun. This is B5. B5 actually, according to the rule, B5 changes to B2. Rose. It should be rose and set. But it's the universal truth. So the you have to write set. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. For universal truth. How to know why? Because it is universal truth. For universal truth, the tense does not change. The tense, simple present tense, simple present tense. Another, when the reporting verb is present or future. For example, I say to them, I say to them, I'll invite you uh, to my house next week. Okay. I say, this is present tense. I say to them, I'll invite you to my house next week. So, it does not change because it is just it is just say my I say becomes say to becomes tell because it is present tense. I tell them that I first person according to the subject. I say and it is my saying. So I I will person first person subject I. Will simple future tense tense does not change tense has changed nobody because it, the reporting verb is in present tense. I tell them that I'll invite you second person according to the object invite them to my my first person according to the subject my first person subject also S O N one two three. House, house. Next week, next week. No change of the adverb. Don't change the adverb because it is in present tense. So next week does not change into the following week. General rule: the following week. General rule. But the sentence is the reporting verb is present tense. So the tense does not. Change. Same tense okay. and same adverb. Tomorrow, next time I will uh, do, I write some sentences about imperative, imperative sentence. Next time, imperative and Integrative sentences. Some examples with smart learning, smart rules will be learned. Next time. This was for today.